camera's on you today. Hello. They like you. That's your Christmas present. <laughs> hey Jess. What? Look what I'm wearing. That's the ugliest ugly Christmas sweater I've ever seen. What? It's my favorite. It's so ugly. <laughs> Wait a minute. Shush it! No, it's another one. Can you hold my camera for a sec? Oh, that's what I bought you. Yeah! Dude, you bought it! Oh. What do you think? Still as ugly as I was before. Oh god. There you go. Take it away. Good morning. Thursday morning, and it is a glorious glorious day. I'm going to check for lammies, but early this morning there was nothing on my nest cameras because I may have checked at the crack of dawn as I do. Oh wow, golden hour. I might actually take a little bit of time this morning and clean out that ram side. Uh, they're just, we are bedding them every day. Those rams are wet. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like how wet it is and the pack's building up a lot. So by the time lambing's done and I can get at it again, they're gonna be jumping those gates and we don't need that again. And everybody's gonna ask me, why don't I move the rams over into the other barn? The other barn has magically produced a bunch of wagons and things under storage. So that space is no longer available. <laughs> and honestly, the water freezes over there and I am not dealing with frozen water. You can go back any, to any of my old videos last winter or the winter before and see me cursing at that water bowl over there. It's a terrible water bowl. Let's go check for babies, but I don't hear any. those rams being being super high it's far too quiet for there to be babies two days guys two days Mark's prediction is Saturday because there's gonna be a big weather system move in and he thinks that I'm going to have a lot on my first day, but yet, but that they are going to wait until their due date to start popping. And so far he's right, which means I just have to continue to find work, which I have an issue. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> I can always find something to do, unfortunately. Carissa doesn't know this yet, but I'm gonna run the camera on her because she's the one that does all the work. Camera's on you today, Carissa. Camera's on you today. Oh. Shy. Little distraction. Hello.
I thought I better show people who really does the work around here. <laughs> What do you mean? Is it dirty? Yeah, but it's gonna go in that. Oh. Yeah, we'll just bet it. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe what I usually do, Carissa, is clean it while the water's in it, and then when you empty it, then it, the water's not running out so long. Do you know what I mean? You kind of get the rough out with the dirty water, and then you let it run, and then like just to clean out, and then you just kind of oh, well, they approve. Look at that, right up to it. <laughs> they like you. is the best little worker ever and she did send me some questions for her co-op placement and I thought I would just maybe quickly run through them with you guys. Uh, these are questions I think that she made up for her their employer interview questions so it would be something that she would ask her employer. Uh, so number one, what are some challenges you faced during this career? Oh my God, that's a hard one. There's probably 10 different challenges. That's, just, that's a great question. Um, number two, when you first started, how many sheep did you have? So I can answer that one, 50. 
when you first started, how many sheep did you want for the future flock? Or did you even know? I did not know. Um, I wanted to start with 50. I think we wanted 150, if I remember back in the day. Um, uh, number four, what would you change? How would you change? Would you change your career now? I love sheep. I love this career. It is so challenging and so rewarding. There's so many different things we can do with it, right? Like I'm, I am doing a, a, another branch with the YouTube stuff, but I could do wool. I could do like, there's so much with, with sheep. So I don't know if I would change my career now. Number five, how many use have been in your biggest lambing group. I'm trying to think back and I really do think it's when I broke my leg in 2014 because Mark had to take over lambing for me and he was really, really busy. He was just kind of going up the ranks in, in, a, on a, in a farm politics group that he was with and he was super busy. And I remember the day I broke my leg, he was on his way to Winnipeg, uh, to the airport to go to Winnipeg and he had to turn around and come home and literally turn into a shepherd for like six weeks and he hated it. <laughs> That's probably why he's traumatized. You guys give him a hard time for not being in here. He, it's probably a huge trigger for him because that was not a good time in our marriage or on the farm. Uh, just we had a lot of stuff going wrong and I think I had between two and three hundred ewes lambing at that time and that's when I realized that I had to change my system because this lumpy lambing. So I think the reason I had so many is because I had so many bad uh, breeding results. So we've it took a while, but we got that kind of figured out. But I think that's what it was. I feel like 300 sticks in my head, which is ridiculous. I can't even believe that now. Uh, what is the one thing you would change around your barn? Can be anything. Probably my lambing system. I think I would, if I could do it again, I I would love like a permanent lambing spot. Um, but... Mine works out pretty good too. Uh, do you like working in the barn or the fields or both? I like both, but I don't love it when I feel like I should be somewhere, but I have to be somewhere else, you know what I mean? So it's that balance. It's it's like being a working mom or dad. When when you're working, you feel like you should be with the kids. When you're with, with your kids, you feel like you should be working. It's exact same thing with my two jobs. So. When I'm in the barn and everybody's in the field, I feel like I should be in the field. When I'm in the field and I feel like something's really important in the barn, I feel like I'm missing the barn. So it's a juggling act for sure. But I like them, I like the sheep better, but I love being in the fields. Would you make the barn bigger? Uh, only if it was to add a permanent lambing area facility. Um, but if I could make it work in what I have already, then that would be good too. Oh, there is one other little thing that uh, it says, would, what would I like to change around the barn? I really, really, really would love my little loft area above this room. There's a perfect little kind of just roof and it's flat and I could totally build like a second story there, but it's like number 500 of the list of things to do. So it's probably never going to happen, but I'm manifesting it because I like to manifest things that I want to happen. My battery's dying. I'm not manifesting that. That's actually a real thing and it's going to stop in three, two, one. Bad? No. Not today? She just has to learn what she's supposed to be and not what she's supposed to be. Is she better now? Um, yes. <laughs> on the chain? Yeah, she's better on the chain. She uh, really wants to give her babies love and mommas yeah. don't like that. So that's the best part. Yeah, you're not supposed to chase off the mom. You're supposed to chase off strangers. <laughs> she's like claiming the lamb for herself. Like, get it together. Mm -hmm. I should probably tell the people what we're doing. Tell the people what we're doing first. 
Tell the people what you're doing. We are fixing my poor creation of a manger. Right. There's too much flex in the cable. Okay. So we're gonna run two by six on the inside of this post. Mm -hmm. So you guys stay in the pan. Right, because we have some brats. Well, we need to keep your blood pressure under control. <laughs> well, this will give Mark and the boys a laugh when they watch this. <laughs> you watch. We're going to bang this. That is so good. We sure are. And then we're going to test it and watch these ladies not get out. Which one do you want? One of the long ones. I'll help you. No, no. I can, I can drag it. So. Okay. So this one is this one going down. Are you just gonna fire away or you're gonna use a pen first? No. Fire away. You're so much like me. What's the worst that happens when we drill another hole? Exactly. It's wood. I feel like it should just be on either side of the post because they're exactly three inches and the post. And you can three inches. The good thing about you bolts, you can put them wherever you want. Me Should I measure the center of the board, or does it matter? Uh, it, it's up to you how picky you are for like how it looks. I just feel like it'll be easier to butt the next ones up to it. If it's right dead in the center? Yeah. You can. Because then the boards aren't on an angle. Yep. Can you hold for doing stuff? I can hold. <coughs> Remember that pen? Oh. Did you give it to me? Can mm -hmm. I put it in my pocket? Maybe. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Two and three quarters. It would help if I had a regular drill and not an impact. So then I wanted the bolts this way. I think I brought some stuff, but I didn't know we were doing this, so I was kind of halfway there. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Look at that. thinking cows, right? Like, trying to figure out what would marry the two. Adaptive. Yeah. I don't know, like, why do guys always know this? 3 8 bolt is what size wrench? I don't, I don't, why don't they make 3 8 3 8 wrenches fit a 3 8 bolt? I know, it's not. Why is that rocket science? I don't know. 3 8 is that half or 9 16 9 16 you you're right, you're right. Oh my god. 9 16 wrench just, like, they, disappear. Mm-hmm. Houdini. They like socks. Someone gonna get hurt? You probably got one somewhere. I know I did. I just meant for you because you were acting like a child needs cheese and crackers after school. <laughs> well, now you got cheese and crackers. Aww. Now this one cracker is be stale. Excellent. Hey, that looks nice. Doesn't that look a little more yeah. intimidating, you know? <laughs> it actually still looks cool with the cheese. No, I like the furniture. Because they have to be We are just finishing up her beautiful new manger.
We did it. We did it. You, you can, did it. You can leave now. Okay. <laughs> I'm happy it's done. I know you are. And done right. Looks good. Sucks to be you guys. They're not getting out anymore. Yeah, we gotta do some plates, reinforce some things. That's your Christmas present. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we'll work for ground beef. Oh yeah, we gotta get that free though. Mm-hmm. Baby, what do you got? See something that's so cute. What? <gasps> no, is that a dog sweater? Shut up! You're ridiculous. You should see it on her. Oh. <laughs> did you? On it's, where did you she find likes that root? it too. She likes okay, it. Okay, hold on. Oh, we went to Pet She doesn't mind wearing it. Isn't it so cute? She's trying to kill squirrels right now. <gasps> Oh no. <laughs> you just see how like soft and cuddly she it's is. It's a hoodie? Yeah. Did you get a bunch of toys? Yeah, we got her a squirrel toy. Aww. And a mouse. Made of real wool. Really? Yeah. Yeah, this is like a whole little like line of pet toys. Let's Represent. Walk. Oh, and we got a beaver. We're okay, I'll be up in a set. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> yeah. What have you got on? He's <laughs> totally okay with it, man. Lucy, what do you got on? Come here. Lucy. No, this is her That's squirrel. Come here. Come here, Lucy. Oh, look at how cute she is. Oh my goodness, she's a little princess. They're like little puppy sleeves. Oh, I'm gonna cry. It just makes you want to like squeeze yeah, her. She's ridiculous. so cute. I think that actually fits her quite nicely. It's not too tight. What are you wearing? You crazy dog. She's repping it. And she's okay with it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Do you like your sweater? No. She's <laughs> not, not down with the hood. Hey, you there. You there, buddy? Oh, oh. oh, there goes my camera. <laughs> there you go, honey. Get the squirrel. Get the squirrel. Sit, Lucy. Sit, Lucy. Sit. Sit, Lucy. Lucy, sit. Sit. Get it. <laughs>